So on the Darwin OP platform, we have different parts that actually comprise the system. On this robot, you'll see many different motors um, that comprise the knee, the ankle, the hip. There are different sensors on the robots. Inside, uh, we can measure uh, you know, with accelerometers and gyroscopes the actual orientation of the robot. And there's a camera here that can see the world. And this comprises all of the sensing. Um, inside uh, of the chest here, uh, Betty has a computer and a micro microprocessor. Uh, the computer does all the high-level decisions and processes the information from the camera. It sends commands to the motors via the microcontroller. When the robot sees the ball, it always lights up green to indicate that the red pixels in the image have passed the test for a circular ball. When it sees a yellow there, um, it has either determined it's seen a net or the landmark that is closest to um, the, the yellow side. Here it saw clearly the, the landmark right next to it. Um, and when, it head, when its head looks up again, it'll see the uh, yellow goal um, in front of it. What happens is that you have a standard webcam in the, uh, the, the head of the robot and it takes an image of the world. Uh, the world will have all kinds of different uh, pixels and what happens is we have the robots log each one of these pixels that it sees, sends it to our computer, um, this is during the training phase, and we take all these logs and label which pixels are the red pixels which indicate that it will be a ball. Um, once the robot has learned which pixels are the, are the ball, it goes through a series of checks um, to see that the ball is actually on the ground, uh, meaning that it's surrounded by ground pixels, um, that the ball is neither too small nor too large, um, and that it has a certain aspect ratio. That means that its width um, is pretty similar to its height, which indicates that it should be a circular object. Um, these different checks uh, help to determine which red pixels in the area are a ball. The amount of time that it takes to actually have uh, a great idea that it is exactly um, you know, 23 degrees from heading um, takes way too long um, and what will happen is smarter teams will be able to actually um, go and kick the ball away from you as you're lining it up. Um, we realize that many teams do employ this precision strategy and decided to be um, the team that actually would swipe the ball uh, away from you as you were lining up your kick. This was very beneficial for our team um, as the very good teams were um, precision based teams um, and since we had the fastest robot on the field in the competition, we were able to move the ball very quickly from goal to goal without the fear of another robot stealing it from us.